going to show you how to make a shaded box around your text so that you can highlight important information. Um, I'm going to use um, another person's code that they came up with on their website. And I had actually just had this question and so I googled it and he came up um, probably on the first page. I read what he had, good information, and um, I went ahead and found what I was looking for, which will be right here. You're going to want to take this code right here and I'm going to, don't worry, I'm going to put this website and link in the video notes as well as in the course notes um, so that you have it and that you can use it. So I'm going to copy this code right here, uh, right here, and it has the using inline CSS. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take that back over to my blog post. Uh, I'm going to use this text right here to make my point. I'm going to go um, from the visual editor over to my text editor. And I'm going to paste that code right in front of the text that I want changed, or that I want shaded, excuse me. And so, um, and at the end of my text, I'm going to use the closing parentheses bracket, okay? Because that's what he says to do. So, right here. So, that's what I did. And then when I go over to the visual side, da -da, I have a box around my text. Now, say you don't want um, a gray, you know, a gray box. Okay, so we can change that. Um, it takes a little bit of fiddling with code, but if you're comfortable with that, We'll just go ahead and go over to the text editor. And I want to show you a few things here. You've got your background color here, which is that light gray. Um, but then you also have a border color, okay, which is um, this darker gray around it, okay? So you got two uh, colors there that you can change. You can also change. Um, the thickness of that border if you wanted to. That's what this is all about. <laughs> Excuse me. But again, you don't have to get too fancy. I just wanted to show you there um, what you can do to change. So right here where it says border color and uh, I mean background color, pardon me, background color and then border color, um, those would probably be the most common ones that you would change. So um, in the notes, you're going to find this site, Computer Hope, and I'm going to go ahead and put the link there, and you can they have all the HTML colors you could ever, ever want. So say you want your box to be yellow, uh, the inside of your box to be yellow, click on yellow, copy this code with the, the hashtag or the pound sign, you know, depending on how old you are uh, watching this, and take that back over. And I want to change the background color. So I'm going to go over theirs just like that. And I'm going to paste the new one. And then when I go to visual, you'll see that my box is now yellow. And you can change the border color if you like. Or if you like the gray, you can keep it. Um, but you can also change the border color. And that's going to be found right here. And you would just do the same thing. You would go and find the color that you wanted to change it. Say we are going to, you know, let's be funky and change it to orange. I would just click on orange and I would copy that. And I will paste that right over, uh, right there, just like that, over the pound sign and the code. Hit paste. And then when I go to look at it, it'll look something like that. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful to you.